dream, faith, humility, and values. Sum up of who Sergio Meneghelli is. The present mayor of Colatina, placed northwest in the state of Espírito Santo, Brazil, is currently one of the most liked and admired people in the whole national scenario. That counts with 5,570 municipalities and an enormous part of international Brazilian communities placed in this God-given world. Who is Sergio Meneghelli? The path of this frail, uneasy boy is fulfilled with great stories, unforgettable moments, and remarkable achievements. Sergio Meneghelli, affectionately called by his loved one, Serginho, learned very early in his life the worth of every penny earned by hard work. He had a rough, very rough childhood. His father was a humble farmer in the countryside of Espírito Santo that was a huge role model for his entire life. Son of Pedro Meneghelli, patriarch of a numerous family, the salary of his father could barely maintain his 12 children. Yes, that is right, Serginho had 11 siblings. His mother was called Rosalina Sosai Meneghelli, a benevolent woman who always had her way to put food on the table of the supersized family. Serginho so soon could start helping his parents in housework and always figured his way out of earning some money. And with that, he managed to earn his living by picking up coffee in the gate stores, carrying up packs of clothes for his mom, who always had the same job as laundry. He always made everything made aiming his own support and always to help his family with whatever he could manage to give. At age 12, Serginho, just like other boys, went to rallies to have fun because by that time, Rallies were all about partying and having a good time to the sound of music. In one of those, he was invited to get up in the main stage and expose his opinion about the candidates. And that story had legs for a while. Sergio made a little fuss when he told that the less liked candidate was the one who was going to win. By the time he said that, the opposite party went crazy, which made the other party hire Serginho as one of the attractions in order to attack their oppositors. In one of the post rallies, the candidate told everyone there present that one day Sergio Meneghelli would become Colatina's mayor. Little did he know that 45 years later, that would become true. Sergio Meneghelli has a phrase that he dearly keeps within his soul that says, Go boy, go live and fight for your dreams said by his father, a big example for him. His family moved to the capital of the state, Vitória, but Serginho did not abandon his city, and still young, he started to figure out his way to make out a living by cleaning up the city's registry and living in a small room in the back of the place he used to work. Serginho started to be a party promoter and also created a floriculture that, was, that gave life to the main squares of Colatina in dates such as Christmas, Mother's Day, Workers' Day, and others by decorating and throwing thematic exp expositions. Big names of national theater visited Colatina through Sir Gimignagalli's cultural productions. Eternal friendships were bonded, and Elke Maravilha was one of these names that started to compose the musical tuning of Serginho's life. Serginho had been conquering a big number of friends and admirers throughout the years. He had the chance to be in Brasilia, and that was a big trigger for his political life. The speeches of Tancredo Neves, the Dante de Oliveira's amendments for the Direta Já movement, the transition of the military dictatorship with General Figueiredo are parts of Brazil's history very close to Sergio Meneghelli's life. He had a joyful coexistence with great leaderships. Serginho Meneghelli has always been the person everyone is getting to know nowadays. Humble and always wanting to get things started. Ever since his youth years, he wears his all-star sneakers, wears his very simple outfits and uses his bike to move around town. What today's social media shows, this person named Serginho has been doing for over 40 years in a natural way. Because he is naturally that person. Sergio Meneghelli has taken several duties throughout his public life, and none of these positions has changed his style. It's possible to say that the DNA of this incredible person has been and always will be the same. 
a true collector of co examples that multiply, attracting people from anywhere. Serginho is truthful, real, a defender of respect to the public money in any situation. Start in public life. Before conquering the place of consular in 1981, Serginho worked for a year in the Cultural Secretariat of Colatina and then in the coordination of Colatina ISBEM. In this role, he began what would later become his greater goal, the fight for education and culture for the youth, children, and grown people of Colatina. His first mandate as a consular was in 1982. Sasha Menegeli got to the legislative by propelling himself with good achievements and this way winning people over that wanted changes. He implemented laws that changed the life quality of the people. He was the author of the Free Pass for Elders project that now is a part of the Brazilian constitution. Therefore, Calatina was five years ahead of law that then became federal. From that moment on, everything flowed by God's hands, and today's mayor of Calatina conquered the spot of consular for three more mandates also being the president of the municipal chamber. In this duty as president councillor, he had the opportunity to give back more than one million reais to the executive by saving money measures implemented during his management. Classic Serginho. By his path, he's gain, he's, he has gained thousands of followers that he's currently got. In his seven Facebook profiles, one fa Facebook page, one website, a YouTube channel, Instagram, and others. He's found many hard times, but he rolled up his sleeves and went on, filled with faith to face piles and piles of documents, ongoing processes, memos, decrees, dismissals, nominations, contests, and bureaucracy, that was defeated and keeps on being defeated in order to give place to accomplishments. Bills on time, salaries on time, construction works done, and many others on course. Financial content stewardships once provided, and more importantly, responsibility to invest in the well-being of the taxpayer citizen. The mayor, Serginho Menegeli, left the city prettier, raised the self-esteem of the Colatinenses, and grabbed the attention of Brazil and the whole world with his extrovert, truthful way. The videos posted on social media initially came out as a way of communication with Colatina people, since there was no money to pass on information through traditional communication vehicles. And the interviews usually have reduced time, which is not enough to emphatically explain the facts. Serginho received the city hall with debts nearing 10 million reais. And with six months of management, it was possible to pay it all and close the first year of government with about 6 million reais on hand. And so on, Colatina only goes forward and forward. Numerous achievements every new year. A great victory for an administration that prepares the city at his first centenary in August 2021. Sergio Menegeli claims that a serious management has no tolerance for ramps nor corruption. What does a manager has to do in order to give life quality to the citizens of his city? Do not be corrupted. Do not allow public servants to steal. Even better, do not rob and do not let them rob as well. Turn the slogan that he used during his whole campaign courage to change into reality. Invitations. Sergio Menegeli receives requests for photos through visits of his cabinet and these requests add up to 15 to 20 a day and come from everywhere in Brazil. Right now his agenda has appointments until December 2019 and over 200 names in the line waiting. Alongside, over 550 interviews are scheduled to radios, journals, and TV. The mayor claims not to be a speaker, but the requests to give speeches taught up to 100 in various states of Brazil. Future. Serginho says that only God knows the future. Invitations to speeches and chats. 
Sajin started to attempt this request, understanding the importance to pass on his knowledge, style, nerve, and boldness in administration. He's given speeches at Harvard University, United States of America, in the event named Believe. He's been in Belmonte, Portugal, to participate in the Brazilian Week event, where he was awarded with the commendation of the International Order of Brazil's founder, Mary, Pedro Álvares Cabral. He's been to places like Santa Catarina, São Paulo, Amazonas, Pará, Pernambuco, Rio Grande do Sul, Bahia, Piauí, Alagoas, Cuiabá, and others, always introducing his city, Colatina, as one of the top 100 to invest, confirmed by the EXM magazine in 2018.